Hey, Melanie Beckler here with our angel card reading. We're going to use the Ascension angel cards to tune in to whatever we most need to know this full moon and this week. Join me in shifting your awareness within. Focus on your heart center, allowing your heart to fill with gold and light, letting go of the external, letting go of thought, enter in as I now ask that we each be surrounded with our teams of guides, angels, and ascended masters who can most serve, enter into this time and space, connect with us as individuals and together as one and with me through the Ascension Angel cards, bringing through whatever we most need to know and bringing through the love, guidance, and healing frequency that will most serve. I'm now just asking, what do we need to know as I shuffle light into the cards? Looking for this, looking for the cards for this week to effortlessly appear. Okay, and there is, there are our three cards. So our first card is Centering in Divine Light. This card brings the reminder and the validation that a stream of ascension energy of awakening energy direct from the infinite direct from source direct from the mind of god is flowing in in a sacred geometry a crystalline energetic structure so higher light higher love incredible energy direct access to the higher spiritual realms is available to you but you're going to be tempted to get caught up in mind, to get caught up in the spiral of your own thought, to get caught up in the spiral of the chaotic energy around this time, of the energy of what's happening in the world, what's happening on the political stage, what's happening in the lives of people you care about, this is a reminder that you can do the greatest benefit. You can flow forth the greatest blessing and you progress on your own path of awakening when you stay centered in the divine light. And so make it a point every day to just take even a little bit of time that's just for you to quiet your mind to find the space between your thoughts. So you're not judging yourself for having thoughts as they appear. You're simply noticing the thought, observing the thought, and finding the gap between it. The space between words, the space between thought, the space between in which you're able to simply cultivate that inner peace still and calm and when you're in that space, when you're in that void, when you practice quieting your thoughts and you actually find that inner peace and calm, you touch the light of the infinite, the light of the divine, the light of your own inner divine I am, your direct link and access to the light of the infinite. And it feels so blissful, so powerful, and has a way of recalibrating your energy so that you're resonating more with what you really want and so that you're more magnetic for blessings and you are contributing a positive, coherent, crystalline energy out into the collective. Another simple practice I'm being nudged to share is to simply imagine a spark of light within your mind. And then let that light expand around your entire head so that a golden orb of light is all around your mind. And then tune into that spark of light within your heart and let it expand out so that an orb of golden light is all around your heart. And then in your abdomen, in your will center, your sacral chakra, imagine a spark of divine light and then let that light expand around your will center. And now imagine your entire 
divine I am core, your ascension column, your crystalline column, your ascension pillar of light, however you want to name it, that core, that column of divine light and frequency along your center. Imagine it, visualize it, see it, sense it, feel it glowing with the light of the divine and then let that light expand out around you so that your entire mind, body, and spirit are surrounded with the same orb of crystalline, golden, divine light consciousness. Tune in to the divine light all around you and within you, becoming fully present in the moment here and now, centering your energy. This is so powerful to do, so give that a try. During the actual full moon energy, there are lessons in conjunction with your past life experiences. There's a bit of an urgency that you might feel to want to create change in your life or to help your loved ones create change. There's a bit of fire in the air let yourself really focus on being present in the moment, remembering that whatever happened in the past, in your past lives or in your present life, that all brought you to this moment now, which is the access point for your infinite potential and the access point by which you are able to grow, ascend, and evolve. I've never noticed on this card before. Let's see if I can point it out to you. There's this mandala on the top of the card. There is perfect harmony. There is perfect divine sacred geometry in all of creation. When you look for the blessings and when you lovingly choose to harmonize with that force of infinite, with that force of the divine in the present moment. Okay, this is what it is. The, when you harmonize with this, the magic, the power, the passion of your soul and how this is expressed throughout lifetimes. Your soul light and passion wants to anchor in to your life. And interestingly, that exercise at the beginning, your soul anchor points are actually your third eye, your heart, and your will center. So that centering in divine light not only helps you to stay present and in alignment with what create with creating with what you want, but it actually helps you to embody more of your higher divine light being to embody more of your soul light and truth. So on this full moon, there's an opportunity for you to get clear about who you really are, not who you were in a past life, not who your family or friends want you to be, not who society wants you to be, but how and who you are meant to be, how your highest divine soul light and truth wants to anchor through your divine physical expression. What do you really want to create? What is that dream in you? What is that spark? What is that curiosity? What is that joy? Let yourself focus in on that now because this full moon is actually a powerful point of new beginning where you are able to take a quantum leap forward on your personal ascension path, on your initiation path, of your awakening path. Remember that awakening isn't a linear progression. It's much more like a spiral, and even then, it's much more like you are progressing at a certain rate, and then you take quantum leaps and jumps. When you allow for this, there is one of these quantum leaps, one of these quantum jumps that is becoming available for you now, and really is becoming available for humanity. And so, 
Stay clear about your highest intention. Stay clear about what you're creating, what you're calling forth. Keep your thoughts positively focused. Keep your emotions positively focused, knowing that you can shift in an instant. You can become self-aware and catch yourself if you're in a negative downward spiral of thought and stop that spiral to refocus in on all is well. I am a divine spiritual being manifest in physical form. I choose to be optimistic. I choose to be positive. I choose to be the embodiment of the divine I am in physical form. Stay focused on what you really want and know that you can create it. Let's pull our bonus card, which just jumped right out. Okay, so there's an extra emphasis here, and this is angel whispers. So um, you have the inner stirrings of why you're really here, of what you can really create, how you can contribute to the greater collective consciousness, how you can be of service in the highest interest of all. Your soul truth, your soul mission and purpose is beginning to be revealed to you. When your mind is calm, when your heart is open, you're able to receive that guidance and you're able to hear the guidance of your angels nudging you in the right direction, nudging you to take small steps, to take big leaps, to stay focused on the highest outcome, to stay positive. Remember that angels are all around you. Create the space to tune in to that love and guidance and remember that a joyful, loving vibration, remember that positivity, that being optimistic and perhaps more than anything, being centered being in the present moment and cultivating the space of quiet mind, open heart, visualizing light all around you, receiving the inspiration, the guidance, the love of the infinite, of the angels, of your soul available to you now to help you to use this energy surge with this full moon as a springboard to take one of those quantum leaps into greater alignment with who you really are, why you're really here, and with becoming the embodiment of your highest divine truth and divinity uniquely manifest through your individuality. And, st and so, stay centered, stay present, tune into the light within and all around, and know that when you do, when you align your resonance with divine light in this way, you're then able to effortlessly flow forth and send out blessings to benefit those around you. And don't forget to send blessings to benefit, uplift, heal, inspire, support, and love you. Okay, happy full moon. Have a beautiful week. I hope this reading has been helpful for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment below to let me know. If you haven't already subscribed here on YouTube, um, do that. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.